guys, this is just really with SCS Parts. Uh, you can visit our website at stsparts.us or you can visit our YouTube channel, STS Parts. Today we're going to show you how to remove a polarizer on, on an LCD for an iPhone 5 and an iPhone 6. So this one right here was originally made for, um, for you to remove the glue. Um, it's, a, it's got a hot blade. When you go through the screen right here, you will be um, able to remove that. However, if you have this machine and uh, you're, when, when you remove that glue, you're scratching that polarizer, the best way is to actually remove the polarizer um, so that way you can only see that LCD. The polarizer on this LCD is basically a layer of uh, tint. If you turn on an LCD with no polarizer, you will only see a white light. So when we put that polarizer, that helps the human eye to see the difference in between all the colors that, LCD, that this LCD will have. I will show you in a second what it would look like and what the polarizer itself looks like. In order to do this, we're going to go ahead and use this machine, as we already said. And um, we have these molds right here that helps us secure that LCD while we push it through the machine. So this one right here is for an iPhone 5, 5C, 5S. And uh, what we will do is go ahead and fit this LCD in the mold. It is secure, so that way when we're going through the blade with this, um, we will not break that LCD. So as you see, it's really firm and it sticks just enough for us to go ahead and be able to remove that polarizer. We also have an iPhone 6 that we will do and um, the mold for it is here as well, same deal, basically just fits in and it makes sure that uh, when you're going through that blade you will not bend that LCD and crack it. You have to be very careful. We'll still show you what are the best methods that we actually use here at the shop. So this is a, um, an iPhone 5 series LCD that we removed the glass on. You can see here how the polarizer has been partially removed on the splitting process. And in order to savage this screen, we're going to go ahead and take that polarizer completely off and we'll clean it up and then put a new polarizer on. You can use the machine straight um, with no mold. However, um, it is a lot harder to do that. So here in the shop, we use um, these molds right here. It will give a better support to the LCD through the process. So we're going to go ahead and set this mold right there. And the temperature is right under 300 degrees. We'll go ahead and test it like that. Ideally, we want it to be at least 300 degrees. So what we will do is um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to align the blade with the beginning of that um, LCD polarizer. So right there, see how that, that's where it starts, that polarizer. I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to put it down. However, I'm not going to push it all the way down. So I'm just going to like sit that blade on top of the screen. I'm not going to lock it in place. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds and Usually what I do is that I'm going to push with my thumbs, but I'm going to secure this LCD with my finger right there. So I don't want to push with, the, with, with my fingers on top because in case you slip, you will cut your fingers. But we do want to give support there and then push with your thumbs. So we're going to go ahead and set it up, set it there again. Make sure it's aligned. Um, you would rather go... Um, where you would have polarizer left on your LCD rather than lowering it before and messing those um, flexes. So we're going to go ahead and line it up. Wait a couple of seconds. I'm going to put my, uh, my finger there and I'm going to push my, with my thumbs. And as you can see, that polarizer comes right off. This blade is close to 300 degrees. 
So for no reason, don't try to clean it up, don't try to wipe it off, don't try to do anything with it because it will definitely cut you. Um, so this is what the LCD looks like with the polarizer off. We're gonna go ahead and clean that up in just one second. Let's do a couple more. And um, if you're able to see on the screen, there is a little bit of polarizer left on the top uh, and we'll show you how to get it off. Again, we would rather have polarizer on the LCD rather than uh, getting on those flexes right there. We want to be patient and just pry it off. We're gonna do another iPhone 5 series LCD. We're gonna go ahead and lock it in place on our molds. Again, I'm gonna line it up as best as I can on the top of that LCD without getting on the flexes. I'm gonna wait two seconds, put my finger there for support, push with my thumbs. Once I am at about 30% of that LCD, I'll take my finger off that LCD and just push with my thumbs. Lift out, get out of the way. And again, this is the LCD with no polarizer. We're gonna go ahead and do an iPhone 6 screen. It's gonna be the same deal. Um, you can see here where the polarizer is missing from the glass splitting. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off. Set it there a couple of seconds, make sure I have my finger for support. I'm gonna push it with my thumbs, make sure that I am aligned with that screen. There we go. There on top, there's a lot of glue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off. There we go. So always remove the mold before. Um, and again, don't worry about the blade. If you do, you just can kind of like push it off with some tweezers or any other, or a tool, as long as it's not your fingers. So this is what the LCD looks like on an iPhone 6 with no polarizer. And then I'll go ahead and show you how to clean it. So for that, we're gonna need uh, just regular blades, some cloths, and then our cleaning spray. We were able to successfully peel the polarizers off, these LCDs, and I just wanna show you what the polarizer looks like. This video will only show you how to remove it. Please look for our other video where we'll show you how to apply polarizer to an LCD. So we're gonna go ahead and start with an iPhone 5. Um, this actually is really, really clean. Um, the only things that we're gonna to have to clean up are going to be the very top of that LCD and then just some of the glue that remained when we took off that polarizer. Um, we really like our molts. Um, they give enough support where we don't have to worry about breaking them. So you can always buy these on our website as well, scsparts.us. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use a regular blade to clean it up, to finish cleaning it up. So just be careful. Basically, this is a very manual process. You just go through, and uh, I just make sure that I, I'm not gonna touch that flex on the top. And hopefully you can see this on the camera, but it's just peeling off that LCD. I would rather do this manually and clean my LCD rather than eating my flex a little bit with my uh, polarizer machine, my polarizer removal machine. So that is actually really good. I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean it as it is with a cloth and our, our cleaner.
So that is it. Um, we'll go ahead and test them here in a little bit. Let's just go ahead and clean them first. Now, when you remove polarizer, this is ideal. And you will get this result when you have the right temperature and when your blade on the polarizer machine is, um, is still good. Now this one here, let's see if we can clean it up like that as well. So first we're gonna go ahead and take off that top part of the polarizer that we were not able to remove with the machine. Again, I really hope you can see this on the camera. I just need to be careful with that top flex. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean it up only with a cloth and a cleaner. Now, this one here, I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, but there are some spots that um, are cussed by the glue from the polarizer. The only way to remove those is going to be with a blade. So for that, we're gonna use this blade right here. Um, and basically what you have to go, what you have to do is to go through with it and you can see how that glue starts peeling off that LCD. And in order to do this, you need to have a really good blade in your hands. So a blade of this kind will last you probably two to three screens when you're cleaning up the polarizer glue. Um, so if you start seeing that your, your blade is not cleaning easy enough, this polarizer glue, then you just wanna go ahead and change that blade. Refurbishing screens is a lot of patience. So if you do have a new blade, you just wanna be patient enough to clean it up. I'm actually gonna go ahead and change that blade to make it easier. So this is a brand new blade and I'm gonna go ahead and clean that screen. I usually like to go either sideways or from the top to the bottom. All right, so now that we've taken the glue off that LCD, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it with a regular cloth and our contact cleaner. And that is a clean LCD with no polarizer. Um, make sure you clean it one more time before you apply the polarizer. But that's basically it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and clean this iPhone 6 LCD. And this one has a lot of glue left over from that polarizer. This is something normal. This is the, the normal amount that you would get on the LCD left from that uh, polarizer glue. So again, we're gonna go ahead and Take a blade and I'm gonna go from the top to the bottom. And uh, sometimes you won't be able to like see the glue come off the LCD, but once you get the blade through, then that means that you already softened that glue up enough for you to go ahead and clean it with a cloth and the contact cleaner. As you can see, most of it is taken off by that blade. So now we're gonna go ahead and try to clean it up with the cloth and the contact cleaner. Always spray your cloth instead of spraying the LCD with that cleaner. Um, that way you'll make sure that there's no cleaner in between the backlight and the LCD. And um, the fewer backlights that you have to replace at the end, um, the better. Um, not only because they're a little bit tricky, but also because it is time efficient. So we will also have a video out to show you how to replace that backlight. Just follow our YouTube channel 
or post a comment below for any other videos that uh, you would like to see. So we have some uh, glue left on the top left of uh, this LCD. We're going to go ahead and remove that. I'm just going through the whole LCD, make sure that I don't see any spots. There, I'm going to go ahead and try to clean it again. When you do this, make sure that you have a flat, hard surface under the LCD so you don't break that LCD when you're um, cleaning this LCD. So this is an iPhone 6 LCD with no polarizer on and we have cleaned all the glue off the, that LCD. Now we'll go ahead and show you what the LCD looks like when we put it on a tester with no polarizer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this iPhone 6 LCD off the mold, and we're gonna go ahead and test it just for you to see what the LCD looks like with no polarizer. So that is what the LCD looks like with no polarizer. As long as you don't see any LCD bleeding, your LCD most likely is fine. And uh, always make sure to not mess with the flexes so that way your um, screen will be um, working in a working condition once we finish it up. All right, so today we showed you how to remove the polarizer on these LCDs with a two iPhone 5 series and one iPhone 6. All our equipment is in stock, ready to ship, and it will ship it within 24 hours. You can visit our website, stsparts.us. All our equipment comes with one year warranty, and uh, it's warranted right here in the US by us. If you have any questions, please visit our website, give us a call, or leave a comment. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, thank you so much for watching.